Hello, this is Joaquin Gritz. I'm going to explain how to do uh, NPV and internal rate of return in my financial calculator. First, remember that you could go uh, to this web page here and then download the calculator for your iPhone, iPad, or any Android device. And uh, you will have all the tutorials in this page. So let's begin with something simple. The easiest way to do the NPV in my calculator is to go to easy mode. And you have this option, which is an NPV and internal rate of return. It's pretty clear. And let's use um, an example from Wikipedia. So what I did is go to Google, search for NPV. The first link is the net present value of Wikipedia. If you don't know what is a net present value or internal rate of return, it will explain it very nicely. You just have to go through all the text. But in here, around the middle page, they share an example, this one. You could read it, um, post the video, go for it, go search for it, and then uh, basically what it's saying is that they want to introduce a new product line and they will invest a hundred thousand dollars and then they will they expect to receive twenty five thousand dollars every year for six years. So they want to know what is the MPV and the internal rate of return. So let's do that on the calculator. Let's see if I could put it next to each other so you could see both. Um, more or less, right? Yeah. So first, in the MPV, a lot of people say that it's not working because they have to remember that um, in the financial calculators, all the numbers that you put in are based on cash inflows and outflows. When you put money out, when you invest money, basically it's money out of your pocket, the numbers are negative. All MPVs, the formula required that the first number is always negative because you are investing. So you put a hundred thousand dollars out. It has to be negative. Right? That's your first cash flow. You are in. And then the problem says that you actually getting back twenty five thousand dollars every single year. So that means those numbers are going to be positive because they are uh, inflows into your pocket. So what you do now, you say $25,000 and you could add it one by one or you could just say here, do it six times, six years. So you avoid having to type it uh, uh, six times, right? Just click next and now you have the whole thing in here. Very nicely. And the problem says that the discount rate, which is basically what you expect um, to get, or at least the minimum requirement that you have for your uh, profit, you expect at least a 10%. That's what the problem says. Different problems will have different requirements. This one is 10%. So what is your MPV? Your MPV would be 8,881.52. Let's see if Wikipedia agrees with me. So let's go to the page. And here you go. We have exactly the same solution, right? Um, I don't think it says in here, but there is an internal rate of return somewhere in the page. And it's already calculated in here very nicely. It tells you immediately it's at 12.98%. So you have it all in the same page. Now, if I mean, I prefer to use easy mode because it's the easiest way to do it. That's the purpose of it. But you could do it also on the calculator. Some people uh, that is, is, they are used to using financial calculator for years, so they prefer it this way. Um, it's very easy. You just do the same thing. Hit cash flow, CF. You get this page, and then uh, enter the same numbers. So hundred thousand dollars first time. All right, you add it, and now twenty five thousand dollars you're getting out every year so you hit add six times we have it here done now you hit calculate NPV so you hit NPV it will ask you for your discount rate 10% calculate you get the same number well it's four decimal places but you could change that in here you could put it to uh, two decimal places and hit NPV same number 
and if it uh, internal rate orbital, you get 12.98. Same thing like here. I hope that was helpful, and as always, you could go to this page and continue watching other tutorials.